Good afternoon, Carissa. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, Carissa, can you tell me about yourself? My name is Carissa De A. Carolino. I am 23 years old, single mother with one kid. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Okay, ma'am. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to earn money, ma'am, to help my daughter and my family. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Malaysia because it is near in the Philippines. How are you qualified for this job? I am a hard-working person, honest and God-fearing. May I know what your educational level is? I am a high school graduate, ma'am. What is your recent working experience? I am a production worker, ma'am. Have you worked abroad before? No, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of babies? Yes, ma'am. And whose babies are you taking care of? My baby, ma'am. How about elderly? No, ma'am. Um, do you have any other special skills? I want to learn, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food, ma'am. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I mentioned to you, which do you like most? Washing, ma'am. Okay. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kid? My mother, ma'am. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you are using, using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, ma'am. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed yes. for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. Are you agree to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years contract, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics, your attitude? Can you describe for me your ethics, your attitude? I am a hard-working person, ma'am. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I will do my best, ma'am, to do my job. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? 
Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. Have you used IUD before? No, ma'am. Okay, what contraceptive pills or method do you use? Pills, ma'am. Okay. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Carissa, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have yes. a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully, okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months only, if ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do? I will call my family and I will explain that it's not easy to go back in Philippines. But I will send some money for your help. Okay. Um, kindly tell us about yourself again and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Um, I am honest. I am hardworking. Sometimes I am talkative. And I want to work in Malaysia because of my family. I want to give them some help, some financial. That's okay. why I want to work in Malaysia. What do you want to tell to your employer who are watching your video right now? Ma'am, sir, I am deserving to be um, your maid or as a nanny because I am a hardworking person. And I am honest. Okay, thank you very much, Carissa. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Okay, ma'am. Thank you.